have consistently been taking away authority mm -hmm. from various sectors in this society. Right. One, we have taken authority from the elders. Hmm. So that you find that uh, the people we call the cultural leaders or the traditional leaders have been kind of silenced. And they are silenced in a very tactical manner. That uh, you go out there and you want to say that the church should take that responsibility. Now, the church cannot perform that. It cannot be the Church of Christ or Mohammedan organization. And you are telling them again to supervise traditions and customs. They cannot. Number two is that you cannot take elders' responsibility to give it to a world representative. It is not possible. And therefore, at this particular point in time, when we know that these two are quarreling, it is the time for the elders from every corner in this country to come up. If we are talking about Western province, the elders in Western province should be able to find some mature direction. Those that come from mountain Kenya, the same, because none of us wants to be hurt. At the same time, it is possible, George, 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 Jeff, that there could be a conspiracy here. And you never know where the conspiracy is engineered or developed. Mm. Meaning that there could be a group in this country that is working a way to eliminate others. Mm. For example, when a whole community is represented by people who just thumb themselves, they are hated by their own people. They are disliked by the rest of the nation. If they are the ones representing your community, then you are left without any voice. Meaning that the other side could be very happy that we are eliminating those pharaohs so that by the time they get to where they want, then a certain community is not part of it. What I'm saying myself is this. We are now at 60 years. Yeah. At these 60 years, we would want to see, that is two generations, man. We would like to see there is change so that the grandchildren of Raira Ondinga and maybe the children of Ruto can be able to say, my dad did something to get this nation built correctly. Mm -hmm. If there are things that have been wrong in the past, rectify them. And they have got the opportunity to do that. Now, if they continued to talking like sometimes young people who have hurt themselves in small little games, then we are going to think, oh, were we wrong, by the way, by believing that these people could do it, you know? Yeah. And that is the way they should do it. Put a mirror in your bedroom and in your corridors. Look at yourself as you walk out to the nation and ask yourself this question. What is this figure going to be doing to this country today? Don't walk out to war and fight because you provoke me and I will still be thinking about your friends on the street and we start fighting. Absolutely. Number one, and I, 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 I stop there. Yeah. And the thing is here, when you are talking about by partnership, what I think is happening is that the president would not want to escalate the discussions from the ODM UDA to others for whatever reason he has. Then if that is the case, let him himself and Raira, if they have not set to start talking, then Raira, Ruto, talk. They agree or don't agree on something. Let them fall to their lieutenants. Let them talk. And after that, expand it to us so that we know that you have laid the ground, you have laid the foundation, but don't throw ones at each other because they make no sense at all. Absolutely. Yeah. Waziri, you were talking